That's okay. Uh, yes. Um, well, Jimmy, yeah. Jimmy, Jimmy told me to dream, uh, but not only to dream, but to live my dream. Because I was, when I was young, I had so many dreams and so many things I would love to do, but I never had the guts to do it. I was always just sitting at home, and, oh, I want to do that, I want to do this, and blah. I was just existing. And when I started to read about Jimmy, to learn about Jimmy, I knew, okay, this is not the right way. If you want to enjoy your life, you have to do whatever you want to do. And I started planning and coming here in Paramount, and Jimmy changed my life forever. Exactly. That was exactly. the whole change. Exactly. Exactly. Of you. I, I don't know how many times I've met you. And look, we're here exactly. every year. We're gathering. And all I can say is thank you. Thank you, each one of you, for opening I'm your hearts and for falling down on Jimmy's <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to sit down. I'm just going to sit no, down. Perfect. No, but really, it's just, it's an honor for me to be here, really. Because um, many and we of love my friends having would you love here. to, thank you. Many of my friends would love to be here and they can't. So exactly. what I'm doing is I'm here on behalf of them. And yeah. That's admirable. Yes, That's really admirable. Yeah. That's Love. really admirable. Yeah, that really you. is. Thank you so much. I know. I, awesome. I know that I left a uh, cigarette with a uh, Sharpie name on it of my friend who is in India who has not been able to come out here. Aww. And that to me, I mean, people from so far away who are so inspired by not just his legacy but his life. Well, one right. thing that yeah. really inspired me was right after 9-11 and the flights were just starting to come back and the only family didn't want her to come. Mm. And I was talking to her about it and it was just so amazing because the flights were <laughs> shut down and they didn't start till not mm -hmm. too far before this. And she was no, telling her family, here. well, I had to come. They had to know it was all right. Oh, yeah. And that just makes a chill go down your spine. Yes. Yeah. How important yes. it was for her mm -hmm. to come to the America yeah. that is James Dean. Yes, and it is. to be that's here true. because yeah. she knew how important it was to her friends. <coughs> and if that, that sounds yeah. that's love. Yeah. yeah. And, and, you know, the cranes that she's holding every year, 1,000 cranes. That's, that's amazing. That's really yeah. amazing. It's a lot of work. Okay, now, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Payne, Mrs. Payne. Thank you. Somebody take a picture. Mrs. Payne, I want take you, a picture. I want you to say something. Okay. I can't see. Hey, oh, hey. <laughs> you want me? I can't see. Yes, yes. Um, I'm blind. Oh, oh that's good, actually. I I wow, look at the background. Wait, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. Hey, guys. Hey, oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Not all good. Hey. <laughs> all good. <laughs> The thing that strikes me the most is that um, the older that I get, the communities that we live in are the most important thing, and that we cannot live alone. True. And so, the thing that always strikes me is the community is surgery yeah. and one of my friends had posted a picture of James Dean's school which I've never been goo goo gaga over anybody and I started reading about him and then I was instantly obsessed because my thoughts are you know he was so compassionate and that's yes. that's what draws me to him he was so compassionate yes. you cannot do a scene like east of eden and be an actor it was real 
and that's what yes. really, really, you know, inspired me. And I will be a diener forever. And I love all the diners that I've met, and I will always be a diener because his compassion. I mean, you cannot fake something like that. You just can't. That's true. Yep. Oh, that's true. That's right. Kelly. Kelly. Nothing made us rise. It's, uh, it's, uh, we all know what we, what we, are, what we like in it. Personal. Change B was amazing. Just admit it. <laughs> yes, it. Yeah, everyone admits it. He's well known. Yeah, he Around was amazing. World. Everybody loves him. He's real. Yeah. No, it's not a myth. Yeah. I'd like to reflect on one thing, uh, and that is, I don't know if anyone here was at the gal the gallery when it opened up in Gas City. Team gallery. Yeah. yeah. And across oh, yeah. the street, Stephen had a little shop called Stephen's Custard Shop. And, yeah. you know, it was a big gamble for everybody, you know. And I got to congratulate you and, and your family for putting it together and growing it as you did. That's right. phenomenal. That's one thing. Uh, but if anyone was at the, the James Dean gallery opening up yeah. there, Marcus came up to a small group of people and he had, he gave a little talk and he had something special, he had a cassette of, uh, and some of you might have already heard some sorry, a guitar players. Um, <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Yeah. It seems appropriate. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. But, but what I want to say is uh, during the uh, opening of the gallery and when Stephen was getting his little shop together across the street in the beginning, um, Marcus had a cassette, and he played the cassette, and it was Jimmy sitting around the table at his house with his grandparents, I think it was, yeah. and they were just talking, you know, just Indiana talk kind of thing, and, and basically they were talking about like the family and, you know, the farm and horses and stuff, and Jimmy, and Jimmy's goes, oh, by the way, is anybody in this family artistic? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and he did that little laugh at the thing. And they're going, oh yeah, my our uncle, he's an auctioneer over there and auctions yeah, 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 cattle yeah, yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah. And they're talking away for about five minutes. And then Jimmy again goes, hey, just another question. Is anybody artistic in this family? I mean, he really wanted to know. But he kept doing that laugh. And the strange thing about that stuck with me is the laugh that Jimmy did at the table sitting with his folks is the same exact laugh he does in his films. Yeah. It, it wasn't made up, like the, what you hear in the films when he laughs, that's not like made up laugh, that's Jimmy's laugh. Yeah. He's got one laugh it's with him wherever he goes, whether it's in the movies or when he's talking to his family up here up the road. But that always stuck with me, that, that cassette. And, uh, uh, and the fact that Jimmy basically was just like a kind of guy that just took the wind the way it blew and, uh, and just put that in all of us, I think. Uh, you know, if something takes place, then it's just like, well, whatever, let's figure out how to get around it. But I want to congratulate you too, Stephen, and your family for making such a goal of it. It's really phenomenal. So, that's my stick. Thank you, Cole. Yeah. Well done, Steve. Thank you. Let's go. We're getting too much more. Well, I may as well say my spiel. Yeah. Yes, um, please. Yeah. This please. is going to be kind of hard. you are. I'm uh, George Farrell. I left a note on Jimmy's grave. Thank you. And, um, okay. <laughs> I gave a copy to Marcus, and I saw him reading that. I okay. hope he was moved okay. by it. But um, Phil mentioned how um, each one of us have a little bit of James Dean in us, and I thought that was pretty cool. And um, for me, it was 33 years ago. I was a soft, giving away my age now. <laughs> I was a sophomore in high school. You were 13. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I, I took a class called Art of the Film, and one of the films um, was East of Eden. And um, what a great film that was. And. Um, I had heard the name James Dean, but I'm like, who is this James Dean? Uh, aside from Happy Days and Fonzie, you know, looking at the locker of James Dean and talking to the picture of James Dean, I really didn't know who he was. And um, 
that final scene in that movie just uh, reminded me of me and my dad. Um, my dad was dying of cancer. This is hard for me. And I was at his bedside. And um, I rented that movie later on and showed it to my mother. And she goes, that's you and your dad. So it was powerful. I'm coming over. I'm coming over to help you with yeah. this. That's all I got to say. I have to say one more thing. I have to say one more thing. I have to say just one more thing. I do a lot of festival work in my town, and somebody handed me a script to Rebel Without a Cause. It's a reprint, but it's hard to find. And I handed it over to Marcus Winslow. Liz Taylor and Rock. That's the weirdest group of human beings you'll ever come across in your whole entire life. We are just crazy and nutty people. Yeah, it works. It's a weird level. So, where are you from? I'm from a Sinclair Short Machine. Okay. I love Michigan. I grew up in Gross Point where Julie Harris is from. And you want to hear some, another weird story? Yeah. My mom um, was born in 1924, and Julie Harris was born in 1925. And she would run into Julie Harris shopping down the Oh, wow. 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 When I, when I ran into that film and showed it to her, she goes, oh, yeah, I know Julie Harris. Oh. I used to run into her when we were teenagers. Yeah. Isn't that wild? My That's wild. Wow. Six, seven years ago. George, that, that just <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I know. Is this your first time here? Is that uh, what you said? Three weeks ago, I came here. Three I, weeks ago? On a whim, I was doing my Air Force Reserve 15-day wow. yeah. annual tour deal. Yeah. No. I'm in my motel room. I just said, you know what? I'm going to no, Fairmount. Daddy has a I've always, car. it's only 112 miles away. I drove out here. And, uh, nice. I walked in uh, David Lohr's. Gallery, yeah, the gallery. And he gave me the map. Yeah. And he goes, think of it this way: you get to you get to check out the sites before the festival. So I came to the oh festival the following Saturday, and, and, I'm, and um, I'm driving down for my Air Force Reserve weekend this weekend. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm gonna take a detour and go through Fairmont because today is September 30th. Yes. Yes. But I missed the darn memorial service. I wish I was there. Wow, well, that's okay. I think <laughs> Next this year. is better than the memorial. Yeah, this is I mean, awesome, on a level, Thank the you. memorial that, is awesome, yeah, but yeah. some people never make it to this. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, I'd you, say you know the majority, is, like 90% two, of the people never make it to this. These past two years have been yeah. just really bizarre. It's like full circle. Yeah. Where are you staying? Well, what are you doing? Um, you know, I'm, I'm staying in Dayton, so I got a, yeah. I got a, ah! I got a jet okay. soon. Dayton. <laughs> Holy hell, that's wow. not close. Yeah. And it, yeah, it's two hours from here. <laughs> yeah. And, um, it's crazy. What was I going to say? Wow, yeah, it's like it came like full circle. Because I always wanted to honor my football coach, which was a big answer. And so I put this thing together and got some of the fun. No. Yo! Yeah, yeah. Hang on. That was white, white, white. Last um, August, it was like the first time my parents ever gave up a raise here from that generation. Yeah. And my mom saw me make this tackle and she said, I, she said, I'm proud she was. And, um, and I just wanted to honor my coach and say, You made this all happen for me. Oh my God. You know, all so my, good. You know, yeah. It's and so then, good. <laughs> And then 37 years later, uh, and you know, divorce can be real. Yeah, I wanted to yeah, take, yeah, I wanted yeah. to take my kids yeah. to Disney yeah, World yeah. so bad. I'm and this past summer, my <laughs> ex-wife finally relented, and I took my kids to uh, Disney World. And so I have this like picture of me so when I was 12, <laughs> and then when I'm four, 49 years old at Disney World, standing next to Pluto. <laughs> yeah. So, you okay? yeah. Yeah, I am. Uh, look me up. I'll have to George. What's your name? Um, 
Phil, um, what's your last name? Timo. 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 Timo.